system, I keep second guessing myself. I need the help of the community to make a very important discovery. Sitting the issue of the camera's aperture reflecting back looking for a planet. Must see what I show you to understand how to watch these cams. Continue. Grab a coffee. Kick back. Put your feet up. Cast to your smart TV and just get going. this a Signoc County, United States. I thought this was the round thing of the arbiter. And I'm very careful to look at that and see how it actually looks. But I was wondering, if a cloud goes like over that, right there, the cloud goes over that, it can't happen if it's a lens flare inside of the camera reflecting back. So then I looked at some of the stuff on the side. I see that white line going right to the sun simulator. And you see that little purple up on top there. That's the uh, reflection of the sun simulator working. And so as you can see right there, there's a outer line. And I do not think they are part of the arbiter either. I think they are behind the planet I'm showing you. And as you look right there, the arrow, that's, that's the bell. That tells you there's a sun simulator working to blur out and to isolate and make sure you don't see what I'm going to show you. So as you can see, the purple thing follows the sun right around, long as it needs to blur stuff out. And we're on the bottom there, you're looking at that right there on the outside edge. That's the arbiter looking thing. But right here, right exactly here, it looks like, you know, the sun going over a purplish gray planet. See to the right how the colors change? And you got that, you know, that light that just goes from top to bottom. But let me keep showing you, because I really think this is not easy to see what I'm showing. Okay, everything looks normal. You're going to see a crossing, like a, like an eclipse going on. Watch. You see this really huge purple object, which I think is Atu and Atu's moon back to back. And I have no proof of that but to watch this video and I, and I need your help to make a decision. There's your, your exoplanet, but why are the clouds going around the arbiter? If it is an arbiter, then what's the white thing in it? To the left there, so in the same location, and the clouds just keep coming. On the bottom you see some kind of rising in the south, okay, in the middle of the night. And you're going to see the sun come up. You, you just watch the sun go down in a big eclipse. Now you're going to see the sun come up, and you tell me. But the clouds prove that it's something that's going over. There's the, there's the morning shot, the eclipsing. They're just using everything they can use to get that purple just right to hide everything else. They'll just think, oh, it's a purple sky. It's a purple sky this morning. No, it ain't. So in the east, you got the sun coming up, right, right, right? Keep watching. Sun's coming up, you get this huge dark object crossing the sky towards the west. The sun's going up, the sun's going southeast, which, I mean, northeast, which is kind of strange. But it, it's staying steady. Now look at the clouds around this, maybe, arbiter, right? But I don't think so. I think it's a planet. I think those are clouds around the planet. Because of the concave of the um, fisheye, I think you can see it. Now you're seeing a little bit of light come out from behind the round circle on the left of it. Okay, and the clouds are all over. Clouds get thicker. Now you look to the right, you'll see little rims around that out in the bluish purple. And I think they are other objects lined up, like Samuel Hoffman's diagrams. So here we go again, the clouds are moving in and out and around it. Now why would those clouds move around and out if it was 
part of an arbiter or something, part of the lens. Now the clouds go completely over it. You can see it. You see the sun getting ready to go behind it. If the sun goes behind it, we're in trouble. If the sun goes on top of it, it's a sun simulator. You see the bluish line going up and down. You see the purplish thing on the right with the green circle around it. That's the bell showing you the sun simulator is trying to hide this planet. Come on, folks. I need you to comment. I need you to check this out. And when you're watching these, you remember you will pick up the side of the inside of the camera because they're in like a housing pointing up with a round glass on them. I've been looking at these cams for quite a while and that's a planet right there if you ask me. On the left there, that's the sun simulator just getting brighter. Then they got all these clouds show up. The cloud covers the arbiter, the whole cloud. If that was an arbiter, you would still see a resemblance of round on top of those clouds. But because it's not, now we're back into a nice shot. And this thing is absolutely, it's just sitting here. It's stationary in the sky. It's, uh, it seems like it's coming at us. It's got a lot of purple, which I'm going to call out Atu and Atu's moon. You know, I did some notes on there. You could read them, folks. But I'm going to go ahead and keep CCing these so you can read the bottom, too, what I'm saying. And it's obvious, right? Right there. Come on, folks. See that? The white line moves with the sun. See how I got the blue arrows? The white line was there and it moved. It's the sun simulator. And you notice the green arrow, I mean the purplish thing on the right with the green circle is gone. So it's no longer, it's no longer in that spot. It's probably more up in the air, more north, you know, north direction. The very large spot is, you can see that circle completely round. Exoplanet X. What planet it is, I don't know. Anyways, I'm running out of resources. Gotta run. Talk to you guys later. I'll clean up my computer. Have a good day. May Jesus bless you. God Jesus.